what's up with It's your boy Summoners Blood back again and once again I'm outside here, Glasgow Central Station here in the centre of Glasgow. And in today's video we're going to be having a look at Glasgow City Centre's disused railway stations. So let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> If you've ever travelled to Glasgow throughout your wonderful life, you'll have been familiar with Glasgow's two current railway termini, Glasgow Central and Glasgow Queen Street, which are the busiest and third busiest railway stations in Scotland, respectively. Central is home to many services to the suburbs of Glasgow, the Ayrshire coast and the south of Scotland operated by ScotRail, and the numerous intercity services down to England run by Avanti West Coast, Cross Country, Trans Pennine Express, LNER and the Caledonian Sleeper. On the other hand, Queen Street is home to services to Edinburgh, the rest of the Central Belt and the north of Scotland, including the Highlands, which are all run by ScotRail. Both the stations have been open since 1879 and 1842 respectively, and have stood the test of time. You know, back in the 60s, that man, that man came around closing railway stations, cutting services, chopping lines and the whole lot. And he didn't forget Scotland, oh no, 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 no. There are a number of disused stations in Termini in Glasgow City Centre, one of which was closed way before beaching, but we'll still count it. We're here at St Enoch subway station on the Glasgow subway. This is where you'll probably hop on after your delayed Avanti or cancelled TPE train into Central and bop down to the West End. Many people wonder, why couldn't they have built the subway closer to Central Station so it links? Well, the subway used to link to a railway station here. This is St Enoch shopping centre, home to a Burger King, and a bunch of other shops and restaurants. The shopping centre opened in May 1989, built on the former site of Glasgow St Enoch Railway Station, disused Termini No. 1. The station opened in 1876, 23 years before the subway, and served a whole range of destinations including services to Air, Dumfries, Carlisle, Springburn, and even a route through to London St Pancras via the Cecil Carlisle line in its heyday, the Thames Clyde Express. That station was massive, with 12 platforms, two massive arches and a magnificent hotel at the front. Imagine St Pancras International, but in Glasgow. However, the cuts made by Beeching suggested that all services from the south be diverted into Glasgow Central, the line to the north close and for St Enoch to close too. The station closed in June 1966 and the arches turned into car parks, of course, FML, and the hotel was demolished in 1977, which actually coincides to when the subway closed for modernisation too. The rubble from the demolition was then used to fill in the docks to the west of the city where the SEC, Armadillo and Hydro are now located. St Enoch is now home to the shopping centre and when you look on the satellite map of the area, you can spot where the line used to branch out from St Enoch. Another car park FML, come on man, what's up with the surface car parks lads? As far as I know, the approach here has been a car park since it was first cleared. But now I hear there are plans for a mixed use development here on the site. Also, would you say that Argyle Street is kind of a replacement for Cindy Nook? Uh, I, I don't know. Heading back to the subway and one stop on the outer, you reach Bridge Street. Oh, sorry, I was, I was too lazy and hungover to walk, man. Allow me, come on. I'm going to count this one into the video, even though it's technically not in the city centre, but shh, 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 I make the rules here. This is the site of Glasgow Bridge Street, the former terminus of the Glasgow and Paisley Joint Railway from 1840 to 1879. Services were extended across the Clyde in 1879 when through platforms were added as services into Glasgow Central began operation. It originally was quite a small affair when it opened with two platforms, but then it extended to six later on. It's quite a niche way of noticing, but you can see that there was probably a station or something here. You know, just look at how the rail line just widens. This is where the entrance to the station would have been. These doors here take up to the flats up above. The station closed in 1905, following Central's expansion over the previous four years. The platforms were removed, turning to sidings, and railway services were either routed into Central or St Enoch. And now, you got nothing. I fully went around looking at spooky doors under the bridge like I was some sort of smart historian or something. Come on. Well, I walked back into town. I promise you I actually did, and headed to probably the lesser known disused station in the actual city centre. We're here at Glasgow Cross, above the site of Glasgow Cross Railway Station on the Argyle Line. What is left of the station is this ventilation shaft 
slash grill thing here. It opened back in 1895 and closed in 1964 when the whole of the Argyle line closed, which actually wasn't because of that man. When the Argyle line reopened in 1979, Glasgow Cross wasn't included in the plans, with it being replaced with Argyle Street, approximately 400 metres away. Nevertheless, there were proposals for a new station here on the former St Enoch line as part of Glasgow Crossrail, but I have no idea if that will ever happen. Anyway, let's head to the final disused station of this video. You might be familiar with Buchanan Street subway station, but did you ever know that there was a mainline Buchanan Street station too? To find it, we need to head uh, here, oh, Cali, Glasgow Caledonian University at the back of Buchanan bus station. The site of the station is now the site of Cali, British Transport Police Offices, the Passport Office and Buchanan House Office Block. Buchanan Street opened in 1849, serving into city services out to Aberdeen, Stirling, Inverness and Oban for example. There was never a regular interval of services running to the station and the station closed in 1966 and services were diverted into Queen Street Station. Much of the approach line is now disused with part of it forming the now closed St Rollox Railworks and there are a number of locations where you can see the disused lines into the station. Glasgow has many disused railway lines and stations out there and to most people, they don't even know they exist. You know, sometimes I like looking at old maps and rail map online and just seeing where, you know, where these old railway lines used to run and seeing what's there now. Well, you find me here at the site of the old Buchanan Street station. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like. Also, subscribe. Comment what you want to see in the future. It's starting to get dark. I'm... I'm tired. I'm starving. I've walked like 13,000 steps today, right? Well, not even today, just in this whole bit here. But if you like the video, make sure you drop a like. Boom, I'll catch you in the next video. Spin your boy someone explores. What? Yeah.